Hey guys, in this short video, let's have a quick look at how to limit GPU usage by TensorFlow or how to set a limit for TensorFlow in terms of GPU memory. Now, there are two ways to monitor your GPU uh, memory in general. I assume all of you are working with the NVIDIA GPU for this TensorFlow uh, machine learning uh, computation acceleration. Now, the two ways is one using, uh, using your command line interface. Uh, which you see on the left hand side here and the other just using your uh, task manager so you can have a visual look at how many how much GPU usage you have so let's first jump into our command line so let me exit out of the screen and the way you check this GPU or memory usage in general is navigate to the location of NVSMI folder within your NVIDIA. So typically, if you haven't changed anything during your installation, it should be part of program files, NVIDIA corporation and NVSMI, okay? And then you just type the command NVIDIA-SMI, and this should actually print out every detail about the memory and keep an eye right there. It says 690 megabytes out of 4096. I have two GPUs very old, uh, as you'll see in a second, these are very old. That's why I work with TensorFlow 1 point, you know, 4 and not with 2 point. Uh, but uh, it should be, uh, you know, uh, as you can see, I have 4 GB and of those 690 megabytes. Now, if I fire up my task manager, you can see I have like two GPUs here, both pretty old NVIDIA Quadro K5000, but they work excellent for my needs. Anyway, so the GPU memory usage graphically, you can see up here and down here, it says dedicated GPU, it's zero out of four gigabytes. So now that we have established this, let's go ahead and minimize all of these screens. And first of all, obviously you're going to I assume that you already installed TensorFlow and uh, you know the GPUs and all that on your Windows system. Now, let's go ahead and import TensorFlow STF. And again, if you have GPU and if you've already installed the, you know, the NVIDIA drivers and uh, CUDA uh, and all that stuff, then it should by default use GPU, okay? Now, uh, first of all, if it's, if you're curious about whether it's using GPU or not, just go ahead and run these lines. I'll share this code with you. If you do that, it should come up with, uh, okay, GPU device, GPU zero. That's what it's using. And if I fire up here, you see how it went up to three point something, you know, 3.1 right there. So by default, it's using 75% uh, of what I have. Okay, so which is three out of four GB. Now, when I record videos like this, I mean, it's using 75% because uh, the remaining part, I bet the, the video recording you know, program that I'm using, it already grabbed that remaining part. Otherwise it would have used as close to four GB as possible. Okay, now I wanna set a limit up to two GB, for example, because I really want the other, uh, for example, to run a different model parallelly. Okay, so, or if I want to do other tasks, uh, which is probably the most uh, common scenario anyway. Okay, so how do we set that? So first of all, the thing I don't like is once the GPU is grabbed, it's not releasing that memory. So let's go ahead and restart the kernel. So at which point we should actually, if I go back, it should see, okay, now I'm back to zero. Okay, so my GPU is free. Now, to actually assign it, these are the two lines for TensorFlow 1.0, okay? So I'm defining something called GPU options, a variable, because I'm gonna call that as part of GPU options here, or you can type this entire thing in here, it's up to you. So it's tensorflow.gpu options, and per process GPU memory fraction. It's very straightforward. Right now it says one, uh, let me change this to 0 0.5, which means I want only 50% assigned to this. And then I'm going to initiate my tf.session, and uh, go ahead and type this line and that you should be all set and then go ahead and write your code and go ahead and run it and it should use only that much of GPU. Let's run these two lines to see how much this actually jumps up to. So we should see a jump as soon as the oh, TF is not defined. Sorry, I restarted the kernel. So I have to redo that. And as soon as TensorFlow is imported, let's run these two lines and keep an eye uh, up here and you see dedicated GPU memory is up to 2 GB right now. So that's the dedicated GPU memory for my TensorFlow. So uh, obviously you get the same information if you go back here and uh, 
type your SMI and you should get the pretty much the same information over here. Okay, so I hope you found this to be very useful. And when it comes to CPU and assigning things to various threads and everything, I think that's a bit more advanced. Go ahead and Google search if you're interested in that. But if I find time, I'll uh, make another video. I'll also try to make a video on how to install like get your GPU ready on a Windows 10 system. I tried that in the past, creating a video on that topic, but I realized that doesn't work for all scenarios. You have to just go through because it depends on your GPU and the make and model and uh, how you have to match the exact TensorFlow. Uh, you know, if you're using Keras, TensorFlow and Keras and all that stuff. So, uh, I'll see if I can make that video. If you guys are really interested in that, please tell me as part of the comments so I can actually include that video. But I hope you already have GPU and you really found this tutorial to be useful. Thank you very much. And in the next tutorial, let's uh, get back to real coding and then uh, try to understand deep learning a bit more uh, in depth. Thank you.